In this video, I'm gonna show you how to hatch eggs with a broody hen. And stay tuned till the end because I'm gonna be talking about some problems that your hen can come across while being broody and what you should do after the eggs have hatched. Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. Please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So. As springtime rolls around again, we will all doubtless see videos on how to break a broody hen, but why should you need to? The hen is an ultimate top choice in the incubation and rearing of chicks, so why do many people choose to not have broody hens around? The mothering instinct is triggered by the increased daylight. A hormone shift causes the hen to set a nest and then she will then lay an egg daily. She may even steal from a nearby nest until she believes she has enough eggs to sit on. Then she will sit on those eggs for 21 days until the chicks emerge. So this video is about my experience with them and some do's and don'ts of the broody hen. So let's quickly talk about broody chickens. Certain breeds have a tendency to, towards broodiness like Cochins, Orpingtons, Silkies, and Australorps. There's obviously several others, but those are just a couple examples. If you're buying for breeds that are not usually broody, be aware that they still can go broody. Rhode Island Reds are not known for their broody ability, but I know three people who have Rhode Island Reds that decided to turn broody this past year. Last year was my first year with broodies, a deliberate choice for the Bantam Barbadookly. The only problem with these Rhode Island Reds going broody is their eggs weren't fertile. If you intend to use the broody to hatch your eggs, make sure they are fertile. If you have a rooster, handy, that's easy to do. If you don't, buy some hatching eggs and slip them under the broody she may not accept them so just make sure you have your incubator ready all right let's look at what to expect when a hen turns broody and hatches chicks so first is she a broody hen you need to know if she's broody but how do you tell well there's no mistake in it. She will flatten out over her eggs, puff up her feathers and look intimidating and give you the chicken growl. If you insist on checking her eggs, she may peck you. So wear protective gloves if necessary. If she leaves the nest to eat or drink, she remains bad tempered and fluffed up. The other hens keep their distance from her. Usually if they don't, she will growl at them. All smart hens and roosters will back away from a growling broody. She may continue to steal other eggs. Try to keep up with how many eggs she is sitting on. More than a dozen is not uncommon. Common. She should be limited to how many she can comfortably cover. You can also tell if a hen is broody by the size of her droppings. Broody hens often have significantly larger droppings than hens who are not broody. Broody poo is also usually a huge glob. What's worse, those big droppings smell pretty terrible, to be honest. The reason they are larger and smellier is that the broody hens store up their droppings so they don't have to leave the nest as often to relieve themselves. In other words, the hen holds it for a really long time. So when she does leave the nest to eat, take a dust bath and relieve herself, she really unloads a lot of waste. The hens are very good about keeping their nests and their developing chicks clean. In some cases though, a new broody hen may make a mess of herself in the nest. She may also become messy if you have confined her to a small area, so be cognizant before you decide to limit the amount of space she has access to. If she becomes messy, you can try to help her out and clean up for her, but she may not approve of your intuition, so you may just want to let nature take its course. So the next thing you need to also do is keep track of broody hens. Once she's broody, you'll need to make sure which one it is. Dating the eggs is a way to keep track of the due date of hatching. It's also a good way to check whether the eggs are viable or not. I use a pencil to mark the date on the eggs. All but one of my broodies was tolerant of me checking and dating the eggs under them, which I'm very fortunate. Some hens will abandon the nest if they are disturbed frequently, so disturb them as little as possible. I try to candle the eggs once in 10 days, but sometimes just mama isn't having it. So if this is the case with you, try dating and handling after they've gone to bed. It's a bit easier. I'll Alternatively, it's not mandatory to candle the eggs and you'll just have a surprise on hatch day. So what happens during chicken's broodiness? Well, she'll sit on her eggs for 21 days. She'll then nurture and care for her chicks for another four to six weeks after this. She will likely take over her favorite nesting box for brooding 
This means some of the other ladies are gonna be upset. There are a couple ways to deal with this. Either move her and her eggs to a special area or someplace new, like a temporary box, or you can just have the temporary boxes for the other ladies. Personally, I like to leave them where they are in case she abandons the nest. Most broodies like to stay put apparently, so moving her could prompt her to leave the eggs. Broody hens are generally very dedicated to their nest, so occasionally though, you will have a hen abandon her eggs. If the eggs are still warm and you have another broody on hand, then you can try slipping the eggs under her and see if she will accept them. If she won't, this is the time your incubator comes into play and make sure it's cleaned and fire it up. If mama kicks a single egg out of the nest, it's usually for a good reason. It might be non-fertile or it died in the shell or some other problem. In this case, mama really does know best. During the next 21 days, mama will guard the nest, fluffing out her feathers to look fierce and big. And she will growl and she can also deliver mighty pet so beware she will keep those eggs warm plucking her chest feathers so the eggs can be next to her skin and turning them as needed now let's talk about malnutrition and dehydration this can be a very real problem for some broodies once they set their nests they will generally leave it only once a day to eat drink poop and a quick dust bath and then back to work some broodies are fanatical and won't leave the nest to eat or drink this happened with a friend of mine with their rhode island red she started to look awful her feathers were ragged and she lost a lot of weight and it was very hot during the time i worried about her dying on the nest my neighbor's solution was to mix a small handful of 18 percent pellets with some water add some vitamins and electrolytes making a wet mash and then she would uh, put this in a small dish and feed her hen on the nest twice a day apparently the hen enjoyed the service because she started to look for my neighbor every day for the feed after a few days she then decided to go and take a dust bath taking care of business and return to the nest and then my neighbor kept this feeding up until she hatched her chicks and then gently moved her to a better spot for the chicks it's been said that a broody hen will decrease her nutritional intake by up to 80 percent and i can believe it because you know we've all seen broody hens after brooding they they don't look great if it is later in the year, a hen may go into the molt early and replace all those worn out feathers. So what happens after the eggs have hatched? Well, after the 21 days are up, your chicks should have hatched. Most hens are great mothers, but occasionally a hen will kill or severely injure her chicks. No one really knows why. Perhaps the chicken equivalent of postpartum psychosis, or perhaps something is wrong with the chick. So be observant for the first few days, and after that, she should be just fine with them. In fact, she will likely be a fierce protector of those chickens, and the other chickens had better steer clear of her brood. She will also keep the chicks warm and safe for those first few days until they get to be curious and start exploring the world. Mama Hen will always look out for her chicks and keep them safe from her flock mates and other perceived dangers. If she does try to attack or kill her chicks, they must be removed for their safety and placed in a brooder unless you have another hen that is willing to take them. Integration is a breeze when mama does it. The other hens will give her and the chicks a good deal of respect in space, but once mama signs off on them around 10 weeks or so, they have to fend for themselves in the natural pecking order, but they are large enough and savvy enough to be evasive by then. On a note of caution, I had one hen who insisted on using a box outside of the coop. She would not be moved and was very aggressive if you went near her. Her routine was just to wait until every other bird had been put to bed and she would then go out to the compost heap for dinner. One morning I went to check on her and she was nowhere to be seen. I found a pile of feathers by the compost, and which means a fox or raccoon most likely killed her. The moral of the story is to try and keep your broody safe inside the coop if you can. A broody hen is somewhat distracted and they can be pretty easy prey for a hungry predator. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to check out this video over here. That's gonna do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learned something new, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And with that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.